Hi there from Midlife Travel Tales. We're on our way to Hanoi. We left Pulawang and uh, what are we doing, my honey? We're, we're on a, a, a limousine taxi, 10-seater, and uh, it's a very windy road. Yeah, I was yeah she was holding close, on. Very close to being sick. <laughs> but I just Reminded you of Pai, focused. the road to Pai. Yeah, yeah. in Thailand my eyes focused and I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> and, and we stopped at a roadside store because there's lots of uh, trucks in that so I think our driver just decided to stop. And this is the view but it's very hazy today. I think there's a lot of uh, smog. smog from uh, up north but it is a lovely area and this is where we're at. We, there's hummocks. I think the people kind of live here as well. And uh, let's just show you where we're at. So yeah, the guys this is a, a little stall. We're at, there's our bus over there. Yes, the guys, there's our taxi. Our taxi man. Um, <laughs> How you guys? Sit down, will you? No, it's fine. And then this is uh, like food, and there's the fire going with the kettle. And here's our, here's our van. Look at the mountains. Look at the mountains around us. Yeah, it has been, it's been it was absolutely through stunning through the mountains, yeah. Very absolutely scenic. gorgeous, yeah. There are the guys cooking by the side of the road, yeah. This is all the street food. Here's the lady here. Hello. Xin <laughs> chào. No. There's the guy relaxing there. Oh, ah, yeah, and he's eating his grain. Hello. And, uh, yeah, with these pots and everything. So we've arrived in Hanoi and the traffic is crazy here. Uh, probably not as bad as Phnom Penh, but it's still uh, tons of scooters. Hello, my gorgeous. Hi. Is this room okay? This it's lovely. Cool. This And wow. it's in, we're in the old quarter and the hotel seems lovely. And the staff have been amazing. We're on the top floor because Cindy asked them to give me the top floor because <laughs> of my, my noise fetish. So hopefully we'll get you to sleep here. Yeah, and it doesn't seem that noisy from up here. And we paid um, a th about a thousand dong per night for two of us. And we even got a TV. We got a TV. A thousand dong per night. And the only thing above us is a restaurant, and that's only for breakfast. So that's yeah. great. So that should be quiet. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Oh, there's also a spa. Oh, so yeah. You can uh, have treatments less 30%. Oh, wow, my honey. Look at the shower. If it, if the, if it, if it works as well, as good as it looks, this is... Fantastic. Hello everybody, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've been on the road too long. Yeah. Our experience in the bus. Oh my gosh. I'm just so our experience in the bus. How I'm was my, that? I am just glad to be alive. Yeah. So Thank we... Um, well, first of all, the bus had no shocks whatsoever. No shocks. We literally bounced for four hours. Probably the most windy road we've been since um, Pai. Pai. In Thailand, I, I'm just lucky that I um, actually didn't have to stop the bus and get off and be sick. Cindy, I get Cindy sick. had to focus. I couldn't talk to her. She just focused in front I of her. I just sat there and looked forward and focused in the front of the bus, and I didn't move my head. Narrow, <laughs> tiny roads through the mountains. Um, then we got on the. Eventually, after about three hours of that, we got on uh, the freeways, which was a whole new, new experience. Because most of the way was a uh, single lane. Yeah, and then, so you're trying to overtake trucks. There's lots of trucks on the road. And then we saw the the the, the freeway. We got quite excited, and then he started driving on the freeway with everybody, and we weren't excited anymore. <laughs> and then we got into uh, Hanoi, Hanoi and, and that was oh traffic. We hit, and we got yeah five o'clock, which was home time. So it, it, is, it reminded me of Phnom Penh. Yeah, a little closest, bit. It's not quite as bad as not Phnom quite Penh. as bad, but it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our introduction, I'm sure we'll take some videos of the traffic tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go out and try and find some food. So our first image of Hanoi is a whole bunch of uh, tourists coming past us in little rickshaws. This is our area where we're staying. Our hotel is just down that road where the yellow sign is flashing. These are the buildings and we're trying to find. Street food, food market. market. So let's go find Tai Tien Street Food Market. So it looks like we've found a coffee shop for tomorrow over here. And there's a lady selling fruit here. And there's the coffee shop. Cindy looking very excited. Found the coffee shop. I'm just having a look what they got and the prices. Oh, uh, okay. What's it look like? 
Any good? Americana, 50,000. Oh, okay, that's not, not too bad. bad. Okay, we'll come here tomorrow morning. Okay. I think uh, Cindy and I are feeling, both of us feeling a little bit overwhelmed coming from uh, Pu Luang. But we'll find our way. Hey, my honey. We will find our way to get all the bikes in there. This is so cool. That's something totally different. <clears throat> Very different to everywhere else we've been. We got the hotels, the busyness. Yeah, people eating on the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah, we are just wondering the probably the touristic side of the of Hanoi. I think it's Beer Street and the and the street markets. I had a beer. Not not for me, thanks. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an overlaid after coming from uh, Phu Luang. And uh, yeah, this is a real overload. Phu Luang, so nice and quiet. Check down there. Check down there. All these people, crazy. Yeah. Moving out of the way of the motorbike. Very the motorbike goes fast. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, we'll find our rhythm, yeah? It'll take a little bit of time. The lady selling flowers this morning. Lovely life on the streets here in Hanoi. Hello. You're going to get another tip today. Uh, draw from TP Bank uh, your money from the ATM. Which, which banks? TT Bank? TPVP or HSBC because they don't charge you ATM fees. Yeah, and the others charge you huge ATM fees. Well, not huge. They're not huge, but they charge you other fees as well. Other fees? That. And yeah. then... Um, Oh, the other thing we found is that they only let you draw a small amount, small amount yeah. uh, generally a small amount, like three million. Two or three million. Yeah. At so, a time. so people all get confused because they're wondering why their bank card's not working, but they always just yeah. say. So if you try for the big amounts, it doesn't work. But that's why it's a good idea to draw when there's no ATM fees because you've got to keep drawing small amounts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah even in the city, there the deliveries happening in the old way. Look at that. There we go, veggies and fruit, cucumbers. Look at that, lovely. So we found a narrower little street here in Hanoi. And there's uh, no cars along here, but there are bikes. This is most colorful, so we decided to come walk down, look at the buildings. Look at that little temple shrine little shrine yeah the wooden shutter doors just wandering the streets of Hanoi there's some meat here's a butchery and the butchery in Hanoi fruit there's, there's the meat and all of that yeah, more uh, little shops, these little shops in front of houses. Yeah, look at this, just local life happening. All oh, the tourists surround them in the old town. This is so cool. I love seeing, I love seeing where the locals are. This is where they all are. just love this. I do not have a clue what that is. If any of you do, please let me know. Yeah. Go check the silkworm cocoons here. It's all silk clothes. Yeah, there's the silkworm cocoons. That's how, probably how they grow. And yeah, the silk clothes in the shop. So we're here in a shop trying to buy some, uh, what do you call them, money? Windbreakers, yeah. whatever they are. And we've come across several different there's prices. A of, there's a lot of um, this yeah but it's um but we come across so many different prices hey Sorry. but this is the best so far yeah. so so i'm very chuffed when we started off yesterday looking for these imitation north face waterproof jackets the first place wanted to charge us a million for one a million for one then yeah we got it down to 600 400 for one yeah for one now we got two for 350. jeez okay. i'm pretty chuffed with that so if you come to annoy realize this it's bargain, 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 bargain. Probably you've got to go walk away. You've got to do and shop around. Shop yeah. Around. And also don't buy stuff near um, 
the re real center of where the tourist places. So Mani, we found one of the major sites of uh, Hanoi. St. Joseph's Cathedral. Yeah, and it was built in 1886. And uh, yeah, it's a Catholic church. It doesn't look like you can go in. But uh, there it is in all its glory. Beautiful. It's built in the style of? Uh, Notre Dame. Of Notre yeah. Dame, yeah. So it's built in the so same it style. Does actually look yeah, it looks, it looks, it's got the same style as Notre Dame. Let's wander down the side. Here's like a, a wall engraving, wall art, very beautiful, one of the lovely things to see here. This is probably the first church we've been into, hey? In Asia. So it's quite nice to connect with the church, there's Mary and Christ, some more kind of Street art, star, and the wise men. I decided to do a tour around Hanoi with this gentleman. He's going to drive us around in the, what they call the rickshaw. Like a tri tricycle. Yeah, tricycle. Yeah, very cool. Okay, sit down, my honey. Let's get you on there. There we go. How's that? Is it comfy? Yep, very comfy. we go. These are. Hey, here we go. This is different. This is very cool. I'm a bit nervous about all the traffic though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're doing the old quarter and the French quarter. Said you didn't want to spend the money. <laughs> this is cool though, money. Yeah, this is the one thing I thought let's let's do this because um, we haven't really done this kind of transport. No. So it's something different. <laughs> and it cost us uh, what 400 for the old quarter and the French quarter. If you just do the old quarter, it's 300. Yeah, just do the old quarter, it's 300. <laughs> So this is Hanoi Lake, and I believe during the weekend uh, there's a walking street all around here, and uh, you can all walk around, and it must be lovely. And some of the French buildings. This is the French Quarter. The bus coming past us. <laughs> the bikes. Look at everybody. We're in the middle of the road here. Check that out. Look at that. <laughs> Cindy's not enjoying it as much as I am. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. So Hanoi also has a hop on hop off bus. And uh, so you can visit that way. We're just in the traffic in the streets here. Coming up here is the Opera House, which is also quite famous around here. Beautiful building. Looks like a French kind of style, hey, Mani? It is, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we're making our way through the through the traffic on a circle. So here's some lovely, sure, look at that. Lovely, lovely building. Absolutely gorgeous. Some people having uh, some photos done in traditional clothes on the steps here. Yeah, all the ladies all dressed up. Yeah, so this hotel was built in 1901. This is the one that uh, Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un met in. Hotel Metropole Hanoi. Hotel Metropole Hanoi. Very fancy. Up in the trees here, above the road, it's all the lanterns. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at all the lanterns hanging. We're coming past uh, the shop on the tricycle and we spotted the lanterns that Cindy's been looking at, looking for. I'll zoom in on them now. It's those ones, those, uh, they fold up beautiful. They actually, we saw them 
one other place in Puluong and the lady wouldn't sell them to us. So now we found them. You got your lantern that we've been looking for. Since Puluong we've been looking for one of those. Well done. You got it at a good four price. Four of them. Four. <laughs> and there's, I show my poor gentleman is still there, still cycling us around. Yeah, we are. The famous Hanoi. People walking, taxi, right, there we go. Even the lady pushing a motorbike with the fruit. Uh, my friend Hong and he has cycled us around the old town and French Quarter 400 <laughs> baht he must be very tired I'm a big man not baht oh uh, no 400, not baht 400,000 dong sorry got confused <laughs> but uh, I really recommend uh, riding the tricycle and thank you Hong I really thank appreciate you. it uh, thank you you are for me thank you thank you come on <laughs> are we in this little street here there's Cindy wave money there's dreamers and seekers great little area stopping here for a cup of coffee so this is uh, Albert he's the owner of uh, dreamers and seekers and we're gonna try out his coffee today in uh, Hanoi yeah, <laughs> thanks Albert you how long you been in Hanoi um, on and off for five years oh. I, left, I left during COVID and went to Taiwan then came back oh wow yeah. okay cool place to live yeah yeah nice, oh. nice. okay so great. we've been open about four months so oh wow well, well done man yeah yeah nice so, to meet you yeah you too Cindy she got her Americana with sugar water and I've got my salted coffee. I got my salted coffee, which looks amazing. And How's I've, that? I've been drinking Vietnamese coffee for the last probably week, which is very strong. I mean, and I like strong, but yeah, this having is, an Americana is really um, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and a big one too. And a big one. Uh, this is lunchtime in uh, in Hanoi. All the people on the streets. But look at this gorgeous building there's even a restaurant in there it seems like the guys eating there look at all the bikes look at all the people eating on the sidewalks there's a guy up there it's just absolutely incredible if you're looking for a city with a vibe this is incredible this is real life old buildings with people living in. this is not a museum this is not a theme park this is an amazing vibrant city look at it oh, look at the stunning Stunning art, some Hanoi street art, very famous for it as well around this area. Hey Mani, look at this beautiful art. Absolutely gorgeous, hey? That's the more, look at that, look at that art. I'm trying to get Cindy's mind off what she's just seen. Um, just wandering down here. Look at this art. Sorry, I love. I, I, this is my passion. The art, artwork. It's just on the side of the street. There's some more. This is just all. Wow! Look at this colorful one with the flower petals. Hey, Mani. Look at that. Wow! Look at that. Just stand there. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous. Just, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And look at these little ones in here, different figurines. Look at that. Hey, look at that, it's incredible, eh? Look at that man. Yeah, people taking photos and just enjoying the murals. Yeah, people just getting their photos taken with it. Lovely. Here's a historic water tower with uh, it's it's considered a historic water tower. I don't know how old it is. I'll try and find out some more information on that. And we're out outside a college and just look at this uh, again some stunning, stunning artwork. Sorry, guys, I know but I really love especially street art. It's very cool. Right here from across here, there's my gorgeous wife, Ella, my beautiful, and then we have the the flower sellers just just yeah selling look at them across the way there as well all the flower sellers and again just beautiful beautiful street art see how they've even decorated the electricity, the electricity boxes just look at that there's a little kitty cat it just carries on this is called the Northern Gate Relic. 
So it must have been a, a gate into the walled city of old, uh, old Hanoi. So this was the central citadel. What, what date did it say? So you were saying that's the central citadel, it looked like? Yeah. Of yeah. the original old wall? Must be. Yeah. It seems like. It was, a, it was a bit too a bit bit too much to get in yeah, to see and something. Yeah, uh, seventy thousand dong each to go in, but I don't think there's much to see. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just an old. It's uh, nice to see from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> what just is that old house? Hey. Eh? I could live in that. You could live in that, not on this road. No, <laughs> but what a what a lovely looking house. A free, real French feel. Yeah, real French feel. These gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All these flowers all the way down here, Mani. It's beautiful. Vietnam is just so colorful with all the flowers. It truly is. So we've uh, discovered a big lake here. And uh, and uh, yeah, we've just been trying to, the lady was trying to get us to carry some of her fruit and veggies and then she charges you for it. But this is a big lake. It's uh, a bit it's smoggy huge. today. As you can see in the background here. But it's a massive lake. I but didn't a massive expect lake, that. yeah. In the middle of, a, uh, middle of a city. Yeah, very, very impressive here. Let's just go back because there's people walking. And I don't know if you can see on the. It's quite smoggy though, hey? Very, uh, yeah, there's a lot of pollution today, so it's not easy to see. Yeah, we're making our way to. It's, it's meant to be a great pagoda, so we're going to go and have a look at that. This is the lake and the, and the views, all the buildings hidden and a little bit of the smog. And Cindy and I are just walking. It's nice to get off the road, hey? Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have an afternoon nap. I'm going to be exhausted, just like <laughs> bombarded. So here's the pagoda that we've come to see. We're not going to go onto the island. A lot of tourists here. But just look how beautiful there's a little bridge. A lot of tourists. But very, very beautiful pagoda, eh, Mani? Yeah, very, it's lovely. There it is. It's got, it looks like it's got uh, statues in each level. And then the thing that is cool is these like medium... Uh, Bond size they've been trimming over here as well. Very cool. Very cool. So uh, Cindy's concerned about where I'm taking her. We found some a little bit more uh, of the street art that I really like. But we're going somewhere special, my honey. Like we're we're walking. Down it, the garden it, path, yeah. I think we're off the tourist path. We got told this by another friend of ours that we met along the way. And I think we've been walking for an hour already. Yeah, and I hope it all works out because this is great. Annie, I think uh, as Dorothy would say, we're definitely not in Kansas yeah. anymore. I see something down yeah, there. Yeah, and look. Something. Oh, and more of my famous street art. What's down there, my honey? There's a lake. There's a lake. That's what the lake we're looking for. It's well hidden. We've seen lots of lakes, so I hope it's not just a plain lake. <laughs> and there we have found it. And we're going to show you guys what it is it's now. It's a man thing. <laughs> and there, people, is the remains of a B-52 bomber that was bombing uh, Hanoi probably in the early 70s, got shot down and landed in this lake, and not many people know it's here. Here it is. What do you think, Mahani? Actually, that's pretty cool. Is that pretty cool? Yeah, just... It is pretty cool to find that. In this residential neighborhood, check where we are, this quiet residential neighborhood. And this landed in this area during the Vietnam War, during the Vietnam War in the 1970s, probably. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely insane. Yeah, we are lo lost in Hanoi. And... Uh, Meeting me at the garden path again. Yeah, lost and annoying a little. I was trying to take a shortcut that didn't work out. The dog's barking at us. But uh, this is all part of adventuring, am I? Yeah. There's no tourists here. No tourists here. We're probably in the most dangerous part of Vietnam. We wouldn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's the lady advertising with her loudspeaker the coconuts. Hello, Sin Chow. <laughs> Honey, what's this now? I think this is another part of that citadel. Yeah. Another part of the citadel, but from the backside. And there's the hop on hop off bus. There's the hop on hop off bus. And there's this uh, kind of castle citadel thing flying it's, the big. It's uh, quite ancient. <clears throat> no, it looks from about the 1800s, eh? Yeah. And here, I think we're in Lennon Park. 
This is uh, Vladimir Lenin. They got a big statue to him here. And all the kids uh, skateboarding. I, I don't know if he would approve. All the kids <laughs> doing bicycle tricks and uh, skateboarding over there, doing skateboard tricks. Yeah, there, using Cue these guys. The guy doing a wheelie in front of Lennon. <laughs> and there's a whole lot of uh, skateboarders here. Got their shirts on. Guys having fun, kids having fun. Yeah, it's getting early, uh, late afternoon, and you can see all the, the older folk doing their, their exercises here in the park. And I believe if you come in the morning, early morning, you can see the people doing the Tai Chi and all that exercising. So this is the famous area where the train comes down the tracks, and you sit here and you watch it. And uh, I don't know whether we're going to hang around for it. We've done it in, um, in Bangkok, where the actual market was right on the railway. But this is, uh, this is very interesting. Check out all the little bars and tourists and people. Ah, oh, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look here, Mahani. Pretty this is. A real tourist attraction, eh? So, uh, not sure whether we'll hang around. Yeah, I've got, I'm um, getting the, all the, even the motorbike coming past. There is the center of Hanoi in the old town. There's a lady, and yeah, the people cooking right on the side of the road. And I'll show you our hotel right now. There's our hotel. All this is happening right here. The little restaurant. Here's the place they're cooking on the fire, open fire on the street here. Here's the lady selling her stuff here. So interesting. Well, here's the famous uh, Hanoi coffee shop called The Note. You'll see all the notes stuck everywhere. People, and it goes up and 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 up as well. But there's a queue, and Cindy and I don't really queue for coffee. <laughs> we, uh, Bowed to pressure, and now we are in the queue. In the queue to come into the famous notebook coffee shop here in Hanoi, huh? and uh, we've had to queue for quite a while. Let's see if we can get a seat. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, eh? Thanks a lot. We have a number. Yeah, yeah, I've got the number ninety-four. Let's go. Up. Okay, take out all the notes. To get the up, we go the stairs. Mind my head. <laughs> there goes Cindy. I think there's the queue, everybody down there. We'll go up higher, there's little rooms in here. There we go. Is this full? Is everybody's full? Whoa. There we go, check this out. <laughs> so there we go, this is the place. There it is with all the notes. Yeah, Cindy, the famous night book. Okay, look here. Yeah. yeah, Cindy getting a cake and what did you get? Asked Americana. Asked Americana. I got cappuccino. Yeah, there's a young lady serving everybody. Have you guys got your stuff yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cheesecake. Finally, I have my own piece of cheesecake. Because she always steals mine. She literally always steals mine. How's it? Is it good? It's nice, eh? Good cheesecake. Good coffee. Very good. So we're at the countryside restaurant, and what is typical in uh, Southeast Asia is one food arrives way before another. This is mine. What's mine? It's um, pork wrapped in beetle leaves with noodles. And it looks great. There's a bit of a dip. There's the pork wrapped in beetle leaves, and we'll show you Cindy's when she comes. Yeah, Cindy's food. I think she did better than me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Vietnamese handbag. It's our last night here. How have you, how have you enjoyed uh, Vietnam? Well, Vietnam has grown on me. Definitely grown on me, and I actually have really loved it at the end. Yeah, and how did you enjoy Hanoi? It was very busy. And so in the beginning, I was like, oh my gosh, this place is crazy. Mm. But it's actually been amazing. There's so, many, so much going on. And yeah, Hanoi's been kind of crazy, but yeah. also very cool as well. Hey? Yes. Yeah. Well, Mahani, next stop, Philippines. Yeah, we come.